I want to jump to the Meg sequel, okay. which is something I cannot wait to see. Good. Uh, let's talk about the sequel. How has it been testing? What are you looking forward to fans seeing? Well, you know, I think for a lot of people, the original movie was a surprise how well it did. Um, and what I find so wonderful is how much people still talk about it. You know, what are we, four years later now? I think something like that. So it's really held its appeal. Um, so we tried to, uh, in making this movie, you know, one of the things we learned is you could add more comedy than we originally thought in a shark movie in a way. So I think this movie's probably funnier. There's certainly some b big laughs in it. Um, we have more creatures. Uh, we in introduce you to a, another level of, of um, you know, really dangerous creatures. Uh, we've also added a phenomenal star in Wu Jing, who's a Chinese movie star, who is just such a really wonderful guy. And um, and he and Jason have a really interesting chemistry. Um, and it, it really explores same universe in a way, but we're pushing the experience of it for sure. There's more shark attacks. There's more crazy ideas that we've tested out on the audience. And, and so... It's proven out to be, um, I think the movie's, it's testing well, but more importantly, uh, the audience seems to be relating to it very similar to the first movie. Yeah, the footage I saw, I was like howling. I mean, there's a, a thing where the shark breaks through the glass and eats a social influencer. I'm like, yes, yes bring this on. <laughs> you know, yeah. um, so uh, I'm curious with a film like that, how much does the MPAA push back on anything or how much are they sort of saying, we? this is like cartoony? They push back on the blood. As long as you don't do gore, they sort of accept the, the the fun nature of it, you know, and I think because of the fun nature, it takes the edge off it a little bit. But at the same time, the movie needs to have some edge, you know, or else it feels like a, it becomes a spoof or something. And that's definitely not what it is. So it, it's been a, I think the trickiest thing about the Meg is, is keeping that balance between violence and humor. Look, I, I mean, the concept of Jason punching sharks is fantastic. That's A plus. You know what I mean? That's that's what I want to see. Is Jason, so I will ask, does Jason punch a shark or a creature in the face in the movie? Because that's what I'm paying to see. Well, not exactly, but maybe we top that idea. He might tap in a really violent way. Uh, he kicks a shark. I'm okay with that. That's okay. still a that's still an attack of <laughs> yeah, some kind. Yeah, it is absolutely. You know, um, what was it though? That it, was it COVID? What was it that took so long? Because the first one was a big hit to get the sequel made and to get it in theaters. I don't know that I. It was trying to find that second story. You know, and sometimes it comes really easy, and sometimes it doesn't. Uh, because it's a co-production, also you have the Chinese Gravity Pictures. And you have Warner Brothers and they didn't see eye to eye exactly where we were going. So it took a while to get them to agree in a way to go back to the the experience that we had on the first movie. So uh, that took a while. I'm assuming this is one of those hour and a half to two hour movies. It is definitely under two hours. I do my best to, to respect my audience and not go past that. Yes. Uh, and I think it's course, somewhere around uh, 150, an hour and 50. Now that the sequel is made, assuming the sequel is a hit, I'm already going to say, are, are you already thinking about where it can go? Because this could be, you know, a franchise. Just Jason killing could be. It, You know what I mean? Could be, yeah. Um, I think we, we can tell some more fun stories for sure. You know, I, I think the challenge will be... Um, how to find in a way another underwater world to to explore that'll be the I, my gut says that's the thing we'll need to figure out so that it doesn't feel like you're going to the same place over and over again you know this time we go so much more time there so it feels different yeah. like you're really in there for a long stretch of the movie so you get to know it in a way and you run into structures that people don't know are down there and things that are you know it's going to surprise you uh, and surprise the characters. So, uh, but I think a third time there might feel like we're overstaving our welcome. So I think that'll be the task the next time is to figure out what is that next underwater experience that you want to find. It'll be uh, the Meg versus G.I. Joe and Transformers.